So, so, so basically my work spans across what they call cancer health disparities. Uh, in this area I am focusing on uh, majorly on two cancers, uh, prostate cancer and colon cancer. So today I'm going to be giving a talk on uh, prostate cancer. In prostate cancer we're trying to look at uh, prostate cancer in the face of uh, disparity. We are trying to understand the, the, the risk factors uh, that causes prostate cancer in African Americans and in uh, rural Africans uh, following the uh, transatlantic slave trade mode from the African continent to, to the United States and other parts of the world. So, so, so what is in pipeline in the prostate cancer aspect? We are working under the platform of a, a consortium they call Prostate Cancer Transatlantic Consortium. It's an NIH uh, NCI EGRP approved consortium that uh, try to look at prostate cancer in, in, in blast globally using that uh, transatlantic slave trade mode. So basically what we found is here is uh, we are focusing on stress. Uh, what we call stress, you know, basically cancer patients are more likely to, 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 to come uh, in contact with stress when they, uh, so, so, so we are focusing on a protein that is associated with stress, they call it cortisol, cortisol protein. We are trying to see what is the relationship between this cortisol and, and uh, prostate cancer generally, and also what, what is the relationship between this cortisol and uh, prognosis of cancer. In, uh, in patient. So the second aspect of this is uh, colorectal cancer. You know, colorectal cancer is uh, one of uh, uh, the most uh, deadly cancer that is uh, causing a huge burden of uh, morbidity and mortality across the globe. Uh, so in Africans, Americans, uh, what we're doing in Africans and African Americans is that we're actually trying to study uh, a protein they call uh, Baculiviral IAP repeat containing protein 7, BRC7. Uh, this protein is a family member of an uh, inhibitor of apoptosis protein. So anytime you have the expression of this protein in uh, colorectal cancer microenvironment, uh, it's more likely that uh, that particular cancer is not going to respond to treatment and even if it does respond to treatment for some time, there's a possibility of uh, having recurrences and uh, local regional uh, metastasis. Yeah. Well, over the new, next few years, we, we, we want to see, like in the United States, you know, there, there have been some uh, great uh, achievement when it comes to cancer management. Uh, the number of uh, people dying from cancer have uh, drastically reduced. But when it comes to Africa, you know, uh, the number is increasing uh, exponentially. So over the next few years, we are expecting to see that uh, what is happening in the United States here translates directly to... to, to to Africans in rural African environment. And how we, are, how we are pushing this forward is actually via a series of collaboration. We have several collaboration. I'm a council member of the American Association for Cancer Research uh, and also an SGN star. So I, was, I'm, I also have several collaboration with Broad uh, University of Florida and several other universities. So we are trying to use this more to see how does it translate to uh, better patient management in Africa. And then lastly, what I want to say is that we have a, a strong collaboration with an organization we call BioVentures for Global Health. BioVentures for Global Health is actually trying to make cancer drugs and technologies readily available to Africans. So we are actually moving a very big deal in this aspect to see that African cancer patients have readily available drugs uh, that they can afford and manage their disease.